The primary purpose of Excel is to increase the success of students uh, who pursue a discipline that we call STEM. And STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering and Mathematics. I think the biggest problem that we see is the transition from high school to college is not very easy. In college you have to be very organized, you have to study harder, you have to interact with other students so that you can uh, uh, together solve your problems and that's what Excel is all about. They like the support and uh, they like the fact that uh, we take them by the hand from the very first day that they walk into UCF. I wanted the community, just meeting other people that are like majors to me and um, just the research experience too. I actually like to be challenged in my schoolwork and I thought that the Excel program would help me as well as challenge me. I think Excel is a unique opportunity and one of the only programs that offers such a massive opportunity to 200 students every year to do undergraduate research experience at the sophomore year. One of the things I love about UCF is that uh, it's a place, it's a culture where undergraduates uh, can get involved and where labs are open to their involvement very early in their career. And knowing what uh, this research is all about, some of them make uh, a very educated decision of whether they want to continue research in their junior and senior year. And YES is an example of a program that helps them do that. YES stands for Young Entrepreneur and Scholar Program. I often have undergraduate students come through the lab and you try to find out if they have a passion for the research that we're doing. And Brittany Mendez, who is one of the Excel students and YES scholars, came through here a little over a year ago. More recently, she's been working on a National Science Foundation grant that we have that's focused on the ecology of the Everglades. The prospect of having technology and education merging together is what's exciting about this project. The YES program is a very aggressive program and asks the students to do a lot, produce technical reports, communicate their, their research to other audiences, do a poster presentation in the showcase of undergraduate research experience at UCF and so forth. We're at the helicopter port now. Liz expressed a strong interest in a new NSF project we have that focuses on the 1964-65 World's Fair and she's going to be helping to develop the software for an interactive experience uh, that involves STEM content as well as historical content. And you learn a lot more than you do just going to class because there's a very big difference between real world and what you learn in school sometimes. So I do depend upon Michael to send some students my way and then my standard thing is I just bring them in and I show them the things we do. They walk through the lab and they have new ideas. They could be crazy, but that's okay, as long as they're creative and they're only crazy because we haven't figured out how to solve them yet, they're good ideas.